guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about healthy habits but instead of just chatting with you I figured I would also have a little cuddle with Matilda here Matilda is a Syrian long-haired hamster she is brown and white and she is the cutest and the sweetestest she is a little bit sleepy but I think she'll probably start kind of waking up soon and uh, she'll probably start rolling around. I promise I'm not holding her tight and she may have a treat in her cheek. I can't tell right now because I can't see the other side of her. Um, but if one of her cheeks looks kind of, that might be the reason why. And she also might try and burrow into kind of like the crook of my arm. If she does, she's not in any sort of harm or anything like that. So today we're going to be talking about healthy goals and habits. Um, I wanted to write these down for myself and kind of set myself up for success. These could change, they could not. Um, and I basically want to try and update you guys on these once every month or so. Um, so let's just get started. So number one is drink between 2,000 mils and 3,500 mils a day. So that's between two and three and a half liters um, and which is a, between half and three-fourths of a gallon of water. Um, this is technically um, around 3,500 mils is what you're supposed to drink a day. That's 64 ounces of water. Um, I just want to keep myself hydrated and also I think I forgot to mention water in that sentence, not just drinking, but water, <laughs> um, or basically anything that does not have caffeine or any sort of sweetener in it. Two is stay in a 500 calorie deficit within 50 calories, six days a week. So I'm kind of practicing the 80, 20 rule where, um, basically 80% of the time I practice healthy habits, I nourish my body, and 20% of the time I have things that might not be so healthy or nourishing, but they're a little bit more indulgent and um, nice. What are you doing? Why are you sniffing? Hmm? Next is be in bed between 9 and 10 so you can wake up at 6. So I did a little bit of research and I found that most um, sleep scientists say that you should have between eight and nine hours of sleep a night as an adult to um, function and have healthy brain function and optimal physical function. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. I do need to get up a little bit earlier than I might normally um, because um, I am on my own right now. Um, so, um, so I want to make sure that I'm getting up nice and early so that I can get everything done that I need to get done, but that means that I need to go to bed at a certain time so that I can get some sleep. Um, number four is get 10,000 steps a day. For a long time I wasn't, I was doing this and then I stopped. And I just find that this encourages me just to move a little bit more during the day, you know, get up and do some stuff. Um, take the dogs for a slightly longer walk, take Ella for a walk to the park or something like that. Um, it just kind of encourages me to do that. Um, number five is pick a workout plan and stick to it. This is super important as I am very, very bad with doing this. I pick a workout plan and then I'll do it for a little bit. And then I kind of almost get bored of it and... Uh, I stop and I need to stop doing that. Um, so I am picking a workout plan and I'm going to stick to it. Um, number six is no more lactose. Um, I'm going to use the 90-10 rule for lactose and basically what that means is that 90% of the time I'm going to practice eating no lactose or very very little lactose and then at 10% of the time I'll allow myself something like ice cream or non-lactose free yogurt or cheese or milk or whipped cream or something like that um, but lactose really really messes up my stomach it makes me break out it gives me headaches so 
the less lactose I consume, the better. Um, next is number seven, no more reduced fat, low fat, artificial sweeteners, etc. So I found, I find that number one, artificial sweeteners make me feel really sick and they also break me out a lot. So I'm really trying to, um, get artificial sweeteners out of my life and, um, careful. I basically just really want to make sure that again, I'm, you know, not putting stuff into my body that's going to count, be counterproductive. Um, to my health and also um, stuff that just doesn't make me feel good. So reduce lactose. So reducing my lactose um, and also reducing my artificial sweeteners. Um, I also just want to try and eat as kind of the least amount of processed foods as I can. Um, I'm not going to be perfect at it, but if I can go and if I can cut out low fat and artificial um, sweeteners in or like reduced fat stuff from like yogurt and cheese and stuff like that I will um next is um no electronics or phones an hour before bed um this is sometimes hard especially because I find it so much easier um and more convenient to get puzzles that are oh my goodness um, to get puzzles that are on my phone, but I really just need to cut out the phone time and the screen time, and uh, that leads me into my next, um, my next point is work on your hobbies and healthy habits more consistently. So that means reading and, you know, when I have the time, playing video games because I really love to play video games. Um, learning piano, learning French, stuff like that. I really want to be able to um, just work on myself and be dedicated to the stuff that I want to do. Um, and number 10 is stick to your plan. Dedication is key. Just trying to burrow. I'm trying to burrow, ladies and gentlemen. You can't go down there. Um, you know, Dedication really is key, and I think that, you know, just sticking to these goals, focusing on the actions, and the results will come. And I think that that's really important for me, um, because I know before I always used to make, you know, weight loss goals, and how many times I would go to the gym, and following food plans and stuff like that, and I just don't want to do that anymore. It's just not productive for me. So, I hope that this video was entertaining for you and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, Matilda is going to definitely go back in her cage now because she really wants to go on her wheel, I can tell. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!